Welcome to the Minister's Cat Ikism. Question number 23. Question 23 is, how did Satan tempt Eve to sin? How did Satan tempt Eve to sin? He came as a snake to Eve on her own, craftily twisting God's word. He must have walked beside her for a while, making sure she admired his beautiful scales and his elegant form. With his serpent-sounding voice, he may have copied what she was saying, like a minor bird in a zoo. He soon mastered her words and was impressing her with his cleverness. Then, when he thought he had won her confidence, he continued his sneaky deception. Perhaps, when walking through part of the garden that had an abundance of different fruits, he was careful to point out how many there were. Then, when they were close to the middle of the garden, with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in sight, he asked, Did God really say, You shall not eat from the fruit of the tree of the garden? He made it sound as if he was so concerned. You poor lady! not being able to eat from all these lovely trees. He made it sound as if God was really mean. Has God put you here amid all this abundance only to tell you, you shall not eat it? Eve had never thought anything bad about God. She'd never heard anyone say anything to suggest that God was anything but perfect and wise and kind. Now, without her even realising it, Satan had sown an anti-God seed thought in her mind. He was making sure it would grow. Satan listened carefully to Eve's reply. He was listening for any signs that the anti-God seed thought was beginning to grow. Eve cheerfully answered him, we may eat from the trees of the garden. She thought God was wonderfully generous then, to clear up the snake's obvious misunderstanding, Eve made it clear what God had said. God said, From the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden you shall not eat, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Even as Eve said those words, something happened. Eve should not have been talking to a snake. None of the animals talked to them. She should have looked around for Adam to help her, but he wasn't there. Satan had made sure that Eve was on her own when he came to tempt her. As Eve explained what God had actually forbidden, the devil's anti-God seed thought began to germinate and grow in her mind. Eve was beginning to think perhaps God was holding something back from them. She was beginning to get confused. In her confusion, she'd added to what God had said. She had told the snake that God said, Neither shall you touch it. God hadn't said that. That was something Eve added. Satan sensed her confusion and was ready to press home his attack, wrapping her in the coils of his pretended helpfulness. Making sure Eve could see the forbidden fruit, Satan continued to confuse her with his lies and false promises. He promised her, You shall not surely die, suggesting that God had lied to her. If Eve was beginning to think, Why would God do that? Satan was ready with an answer. It's because he knows that the day you eat it, your eyes will be opened and you will know good and evil. If Eve was wondering why God wouldn't want them to know good and evil through eating the fruit, Satan had an answer for that too. He said, God knows the day you eat of it, you will be like God, knowing good and evil. He could see his anti-God seed thought was growing in Eve's heart. He'd said enough, so he slinked away watching as Eve focused on the fruit, forgetting what God had said and being persuaded by what the snake had said. 
The words, the day you eat it, rang in her mind, as well as everything else the snake had said. What better day than that day to eat and be wise? How did Satan tempt Eve to sin? He came as a snake to Eve on her own, craftily twisting God's word. By listening to him, Eve doubted God's goodness, distrusted God's word, and desired what God had forbidden. By listening to him, Eve doubted God's goodness, distrusted God's word, and desired what God had forbidden. Acting alone, Eve fell into sin. Here's a verse to remind us of this sad event. Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 13 and 14. Thank you for joining me for question number 23. Join me again for question number 24.